day, our YouTube video for the day. We're going to show you our new stacker. It came, showed up a couple days ago. We got it from uh, Chad at Phil's Trailers. We were in need of a new trailer. That other one, we were, as y'all know, we go 30, 40,000 miles a year on one. And uh, my toter is a single axle toter. And my trailers never have air brakes, so my trailers are pretty bad about wearing the brakes out real fast. I just wanted to upgrade, we needed a little bigger trailer. But for the ones that want to check it out, we're gonna show you our new trailer. Come check it out. There it is. It's a big old long thing. Biggest difference in this one, my last one, it's four foot longer. The freaking thing's 13 six tall. So now I'm really going to have to pay attention to bridges and stuff. I think that's like the, the normal height for a semi-trailer. 13.6, I think you're right there. So, a lot of that probably has to do with the 17.5 tires. My other one had 16s on it, but I think it was like 12.9 tall. It's a pretty nice trailer. My ramp on my other one was falling apart. Been beat up by hail. This one probably will be too because it's going to set out the height because I got nowhere to park it. But it's got insurance on it. Uh, I like the, it's got the compartment on the front for storage and they mounted my heat and air up on top of that. When I ordered it, it didn't have heat and air so we had them put heat and air in it and it's got extended ramps on the back because the new car is going to set really low. For those of you who haven't seen, there's our there's our toter. That's a 2003 that had 36,000 original miles on it when I bought it. I've never even seen the outside, <clears throat> but it sits outside now. It's got a 430 horse C12 cat motor in it. 12 speed automatic, pretty easy to drive. I'm no truck driver. Pretty, pretty nice rig. I mean, I'm getting things as I can afford to get them. So, storage down out here. Come on in. Got a 6,000 pound lift. These little centers, got quick connect pins that hold them in. My other one, they were bolted in, and I bet you they weighed 150 pounds once you unbolted them, you had to take them up and carry them out. And it's, uh, so this is a lot nicer. These cabinets here, I did not have in my other one. These are pretty nice. Got a lot of storage over here I didn't have. Got all my AMSOIL oil in here, brake clean, glass cleaner. This thing is a very solid built trailer. It's a lot taller. I bet mean, it's a foot taller than my other one. So, like if I put the Chevelle on here, I can raise it up high enough that I can walk under this without ducking. I couldn't do that in my other one. Got kicker speakers, but actually we're fixing to put a whole kicker system in here next week. And it's got a winch. My other one did not have it. Kind of cool how they do this. You see that battery? It's got, um, see that battery charger? It's like what same brand that you would see on like a boat. It's, you know, you back your boat in and plug it in. That's what them are. There's another battery and one of them chargers up here that run the pump for the, for the lift. 
We got a new toolbox. We bought, we looked at these at PRI. My buddy Nate got me a deal on this from C-Tech. So we ordered it when we got home. It's got project brackets, so when you roll it out, you get your projects right there. All our fans, our pump to pull air through the motor, project pump, everything fits in there. We got it filled up with some pretty nice tools. So the good thing about this is 90% of the time, it's just me and Brandon. Now when we get the car unloaded, we can roll this out and everything we need to service and work on the car for the weekend, most 90% of it's right here. So it'll keep us from making 100 trips, getting shit unloaded and everything set up. So that thing was pretty expensive, but it ought to make our life a whole lot easier once we get to the racetrack. Something about this gas can, it took us a while to get that thing mounted. That's what we haul our fuel in. Because when we leave, we're usually gone three, four, five races at a time. And we got to carry a full drum with us. Normally we fill this up and then three jugs and hopefully that that lasts us. Now I don't know if it will or not with the new car. Because if we start going a lot more rounds and winning, we're going to need more fuel. If we're running out of fuel, that's a good thing. That means we're, we're going around. So that's what we're looking for. If that's the case, later on, I'll put another drum right there. A lot of storage up here. That's where the pump and the battery charger is that run this the lift. pump for the lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took a whole lot of garage doors to buy this. I know that's coming. Oh, and by the way, since the Chevelle fits so well. Have installed these for me to make the ramp a lot longer so we can pull the car up in here without dragging the front end off of it. I think we've got everything covered. Anyway, it's mine. I like it. I think it'll make our life a lot easier. One thing I don't want to do is been spending time on the side of the road working on this crap trying to get to a race. That's just not. You can't stay focused doing that. Anyway, that's it. Nothing fancy. No two hundred thousand dollar liftgate trailer or nothing. I bought within my means. So, hope y'all like it. I do. This is not about bragging. I'm just trying to find content that our fans can check out. They want to see what we're doing, and this is what we've been doing the last couple of days. So there you go. Adios.